convert from the decimal value 56 to a two-digit hexadecimal. So we know our output is going to have two digits, and we know that this is the ones place, and because it's hexadecimal, this is the sixteens place. And so we want to know how many sixteens go into 56. So we can just look at the multiples of 16, and we know, well, 64 is bigger than 56, so 48 has to be the largest multiple of 16 that goes into 56. So if I subtract this, um, it looks like there's 8 left over once I subtract 48 out of 56. And so this is the third multiple of 16. And so in my 16s place, I'm going to have three 16s, and I'm going to have 8 in my 1s place. And so the hexadecimal representation of decimal 56 is hex 38. If our answer was going to be a three-digit hexadecimal number, then we would add the next position, which is the 16 squared, or 256th place. Similarly, if we continue on, the fourth digit would be the 16 cubed place and so on and so forth. And so we could use the same strategy for numbers that are over 256. We know that there's at least a one in the 16 squared or 256th place. 